So, uh, hi, myself, Pawan Verma, and I'm a founder of uh, Happy Healer. So, uh, basically, Energy Holistic Healing is our like the legal name, and we have two brands under this uh, name. One is a Happy Healer, which is our major brand, and the second is Road to Yoga. So, basically, what we are trying to do, we are just making a disruption in the holistic healing way, because as you know, the India is all about yoga, meditation from the last 5,000 years. So, uh, what we are trying to do, we are just going to make one standardized experience for all the fitness lover, whosoever, because even though in your life you you must be looking for some kind of you know uh, the gym subscription for your fitness but what we are wanted to promote here is ki don't go with these kind of the western thing which will give you the you know the benefit on the uh, lower scale maybe for a one month if you will leave the gym you'll not get benefited why don't you go with the yoga but if you go with the yoga there should be certain value which should be from the ancient world so we are trying to make a uh, oyo for uh, this uh, studios we'll make our uh, chain available all across the india So the basic idea was because I, I, I worked with the corporate, uh, so I worked with the Accenture uh, for the Google pro uh, projects as we discussed earlier, right? So even though in MNC, what people are doing uh, for the fitness and the mental relax is, I would say, the major thing. The people are more concerned now about the mental stress, but we don't have any physical product, anything which can give us the real happiness. What we do for the happiness, uh, so as I'm in Mumbai, so Mumbai is a hub for this entertainment and media, right? So the people are making uh, really amazing uh, movies out there to make you feel happy. So you can connect. So, but the true sense, if you are talking about a corporate guy who's always uh, working with the tie all night, right? What he want? He want to relax. And for the relaxation, right? He should do the meditation. But in the metro cities, uh, there is no any sense available where you can go and you can do these things then you have to spread the awareness even though at your place and your workstation you can do the meditation there are some sort of meditation which can heal your body which can give you strength you know during work and it can clean your mind so we want to change this perception and we want to bring some social impact that's all so uh, I would say uh, Ritesh Agarwal inspired me the most because he's not doing something uh, I would say uh, very unique. So the idea is very unique in itself and they disrupted the entire hotel market, right? So if I talk about the hospitality, so uh, it's not something where he's, you know, uh, making some change, where he's bringing one another uh, marketplace where you can list your hotel. They are trying to give you an experience, right? So you can rely on OYO, let's say if you're uh, visiting the Bangalore, right? So if you know that you have an OYO app and uh, even though if this OYO hotel is located in some gully, if you will stay in OYO, you will get a standard experience, right? So this inspired me a lot because as, if we are talking about yoga and meditation, we want that same experience, you know, that everybody should feel because this is something I would say the speciality of India, right? This is originated in India and nobody knows uh, better than us. We have the lots of feeler, uh, trainers, uh, yogis in our Indian domain who are doing tremendously good. The people from abroad, they are coming here to learn the teacher training program, right? Why? Because they know that we have strength. So I want to use those workforce, those yogis to make the India a better place to live. Simple. Uh, so the entrepreneurship is, I guess, the all about the social impact. You, see, if you are uh, into the entrepreneurship, it's just not about the building a brand. Maybe I'll end up, uh, uh, you know, making a small brand or small chain. But if I'm, you know, uh, changing uh, uh, something in the society, it will impact you the most. The reason being, if you talk about any good entrepreneur, they are not making only money, they are not making only big brand, they are making a big change in the society and the way society works. Uh, OYO model, uh, they entirely change the you know, way of living, right? Uh, now the people are realizing even though in the triple nine they can go everywhere in India and they can stay, right? So this is a change, the mindset. If you talk about Ola, uh, because when I was in college, uh, I, I was a part of some uh, uh, management college. I was there, but there was only one cab, Meru cab in Delhi and that, that too was so expensive, right? So if you are visiting, uh, you know, those times, if you are visiting airport, then only you used to book a cab, that's all. But these days, everybody, even though middle class, lower middle class, they know if they are going Mumbai, so they don't have to wait because they have one application in their hand and they can travel by a car by just paying a 50 bucks, 60 bucks on the share. So this is something they are making a change. Uh, they are contributing to, uh, you know, this society. So this is good. Uh, this is 
uh, should be aim of any, I would say, the entrepreneur to make a change. Uh, if I talk about the LinkedIn, I don't spend uh, too much time, but uh, I, I check it regularly because there are lots of connections we used to make on the LinkedIn because if the people are uh, all around the world because we are here in the Thai Global Summit uh, just to make the network. So LinkedIn is doing the same thing. I used to you know, uh, spend almost 10 to 15 uh, minutes and I get the notification so I check the who, what is doing. You know? So these sort of and the 15 minute marks I would say. Uh, Snapchat, uh, yes, in a way, because uh, uh, we are going to launch one campaign, hashtag I am happy healer, right? Uh, where what you can do, you can make uh, your uh, this Snapchat and you can post it on the Snapchat with the hashtag I am happy healer. But when it comes to a hashtag I am happy healer, there's the responsibility takes place. If you are putting that and if you want to be a happy healer, you should same spread this happiness uh, in between your community you should promote yoga you should promote this meditation thing so uh, i think if you are uh, even though you are a happy healer you should promote it you should uh, tell the people do yoga don't go for uh, the other stupid thing which is available in the market because they will maybe help you uh, for a small time not for the longer time uh, Sure, uh, the WhatsApp status is totally depend on the, I would say, uh, uh, these days uh, the WhatsApp status changing is in the trend from last seven years. The people are changing every day their WhatsApp status. So it's a good thing in a way because uh, maybe because on the WhatsApp even the lots of people are following you like uh, your uh, this LinkedIn. You know, people wanted to know what, what exactly you are doing, right? On the WhatsApp, people get to know exactly, right now I'm in a Thai summit, so I posted that, uh, you know, the great, uh, I'm with a great mind. So the people know that uh, something good is happening in Mumbai, uh, in JW, uh, at the Thai Global Summit. So I, I change it, uh, depend on the situation, if it can make an impact and in a good course.